Hello, welcome back to my channel. I just finished filming my quarterly TBR video, which you will see came out last week. So if you want to watch that, um, go ahead. <laughs> It'll be linked above. Um, but one thing to know about me is that I like to change up my organizing all the time. So I've had these bookshelves for a couple months. I think my bookshelf reorganization tour was in November and I have liked it how it is, but I think I realized for filming that it would actually be better if I put my mystery thriller horror over where I film because right now when I film you get either most of my fantasy or you get like this section which I do like but it's not the books that I'm talking about as much so I think it would be better to have them like near where I'm filming and I just want to do a little reorganizing I've gotten rid of some books and I've added books and so I just want to like make it work a little bit better than it is and I've also kind of decorated but I think I could put more thought into how I'm decorating it so that's the task for today I think I'm going to take everything off the shelves and then go ahead and reorganize and hopefully it won't take me too long but yeah so I will take you along I love watching book shelf reorganization videos and things like that so I hope you enjoy and I hope that you like my organizing. <laughs> um, oh, I should say I'm going to do it still probably by author last name and genre just so I can find things because I found that once I've done that it's actually really easier for me to find things that I'm looking for. So that's how I'm going to do it and then I'm going to keep some collections together but I don't know if I'll keep exactly how I've done it before. So yeah, anyway, let's get into the video. My love You're such a fragile thing I know And with the winter comes the ice, the snow But I'm here at all And oh my love About the cold just yet. The trees haven't started to shed. Just feel the summer sun as it warms our bed. As you can see they're all on the ground now I didn't clean up the top because I don't know why I didn't I might put some books up there if I feel like I need more room but I'm gonna start with the shelves and go from there so let me show you the ground so yeah I've got a lot of books kind of in order kind of like not really um, but what I'm thinking is here we'll go probably I don't know I took all the Pendergast off but I'm like debating because they are a mystery thriller to put them there because when I'm filming you probably only see like this portion so I'm like do I do them here so yeah so when I'm filming 
The chair usually moves over here, so you only see these two, or these four, but you wouldn't see a lot of this, so I guess it would be more like Pendergast. I could do my Agathas and my Cozy Mysteries, and then maybe I do Mystery Thriller, Mystery Thriller Horror in this, like, this section, and then the bottoms could be something else. Uh, and then I was thinking over there, because, like, I don't take pictures really over there because it's pretty dark. So, like, when I go to take pictures anyway, I'd come around here. And so I'm thinking, like, classics should go over there where I just don't really... Because I'm not doing anything with them. My nonfiction maybe will go up at the top and then the classics down at the bottom. really need to get that shelf figured out because I just need another shelf and I just have been lazy about it. Um, yeah, and then maybe, like, middle grade and, like, any extra, like, mish or fantasy down here or something like that. I think that could be good. So I have this little shelf. And the top and bottom are like work stuff, but I've kind of cleaned it off so the middle too you can't really see. Um, because I've got stuff in front of it. But the middle two are kind of empty. I just have a shirt I need to repair. Um, so I think I might put some like TBR, like uh, the all the books I just talked about, I think I'll put there. But I don't like doing that because then I have... Like, I'll buy more books, which is a me problem, but I'll buy more books and I'll fill up the shelves. And forgetting I have all that. So I'm just worried about it, but I think I'll do it because I think that will be easier for me to, like, remember what... Yeah, I think it'll just help me remember what I am... supposed to be prioritizing. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. will sing about your heart maybe the trees will whisper the word maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope What if the wind could spread your love? 
What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. mysteries with some room for some that are on this TBR shelf I'll show you. My Agathas. Then it's detective like sleuth mysteries here. And then this is YA mysteries and then into like thrillers. And then this is nonfiction with some poetry at the end. And then that's my classic shelf. More thrillers. This is my horror. And then middle grade. And then this is my nonfiction uh, environmental side. This is some more classics and then some taller books and my graphic novels would go right there when I um, am not reading them. Got adult fantasy, my uh, uh, Nancy Drew up there. More adult fantasy into YA fantasy, YA fantasy, YA fantasy, and then like the miscellaneous genres down there. And then up here, have my cactus plant and the what I used with my watering can. Lavender, just a basket, and then sprig. And then this is thread and stuff that's old that my it was my great grandma's, and I just don't have anywhere to put it yet. But I will put it when I have a home. And I put some more. Um, they're not Pendergast, but they're a different series up above my Pendergast. Then we have my little shelf here. So. 
This is what I'm reading for the backlist readathon this week. Hopefully I'll get through it all. You would have seen it on the Saturday reading vlog. And then this is what I just had my video on of my quarterly TBR so I can remember. And then we just have some stuff at the bottom and some stuff at the top. And so I'm going to like switch them out. So I tried to leave room on the shelves for them. And I have to figure out what I'm going to do with that basket and some extra stuff here. So there you go. That's my bookshelf reorganization video. I'm really happy with it. I think I'm a lot happier than it was before. Even though it's not in the exact order I would like for like my mind, I would like it to just go all the way down in the genre. But I think for filming and for pictures this makes the most sense because you'll see like right here the most, which is kind of my favorite stuff right now. So I'm really happy with how it looks and I actually like with reorganizing it I realize I have more room than I thought so like my horror and my thrillers have more room than I thought so I'm really happy about that and yeah and all my middle grade fit on a shelf right now which is great yeah so I'm just really happy um so yeah I hope you enjoyed and leave a comment down below and tell me how you organize your bookshelves I'd really like to know so leave a comment down below but if you haven't subscribed and you want to subscribe I'd really appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed the video mm -hmm.